Hey YouTube, welcome to another uh, Latin series where today we're going to explore um, some Afro-Cuban uh, drum set playing. Um, so hopefully you got a chance, um, I uploaded just a quick um, little solo, uh, kind of showcasing um, you know the elements that we're going to be uh, talking about in this lesson video. Okay, so if you haven't seen that video, definitely check it out. Um, so before I get into this, um, you know, Afro-Cuban music is extremely diverse and rich, all right? So I'm kind of specifically going to be talking about um, drum set elements as they would apply to, like, salsa and mambo and uh, Latin jazz elements, okay? Uh, and again, uh, similar to Brazilian, you know, we're mimicking a, um, a percussion section, okay? So, um, but anyway, I'm going to be playing more of a hybrid, okay? Um, you know, Afro-Cuban mixed with, um, you know, Western styles. Okay, so let me just say that. This won't be a, a, a history lesson or a rich uh, lesson in traditional Afro-Cuban uh, music, uh, you know. Um, so uh, that being said, let's, uh, you know, let's, let's get into some of this stuff, okay? Uh, so what I want to do is just give you some basic... Um, ideas that that you'll use that will be very common that can be a a, a, a really good solid Afro-Cuban groove for you to to play uh, if you're uh, in an instance where you need to uh, need to come up with one okay all right so before we get into this hopefully you notice there was two things that stood out when I did my solo okay one was my bass drum pattern was different than the um, Brazilian um, ideas Okay, and second, what my left hand was doing. Okay, so what I want to do is talk about these two things first before we get into everything else, because uh, these two components are extremely important. Okay, so one, let's talk about clave. Okay, clave is the heartbeat of the of Afro-Cuban music. Okay, and we have um, four different ones that we need to talk about. Okay. All right, so first and foremost, um, and the one that we're going to start with, is we have son clave, S-O-N clave, all right? Uh, so what we're going to do first is learn what they call 2-3 clave and then 3-2 clave, okay? And what that means will make sense here in, in just a second, okay? So let's, let's do 2-3 um, son clave, and this is a pattern that... I'm sure a lot of you have, have heard before, okay? Because it is relatively common, okay? So it's going to go like this. One, two, ready, go. One. One. One, two. One, two, three. One, two. One, two, three. Okay? So that's what the two, three means, okay? One, two. One, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, okay? So that would be two, three, sewn clave. Now, you can also flip it and do three, two, sewn clave. And if you do that, you're just going to start on the three side. So that would be like this. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. Two, three, sewn clave, three, two, sewn clave. Now, why is there two? Well, because they both have a different feel, okay? Um, if you're playing a, a, a song with a band that's in two, three, clave, um, playing in three, two isn't gonna, it isn't gonna flow or feel good with the feel and groove that the band is setting, okay? So it's, it's important to make sure that you're playing in, in the proper clave, whatever it happens to be, okay? Now, again, uh, an easy way to determine that is if you're listening to a song, try to play the, the clave 2-3 or 3-2 against it. You'll find that one seems to naturally feel better against the backdrop of the song uh, and groove that's being played by the band. Okay, so that's a good indicator of whether it's in two, three, or three, two. Because rhythmically, uh, the two, three will fit better. Okay, 
if it's in 2-3, and the 3-2 will fit better if it's in 3-2. Okay, so it's, it's really important to, to understand uh, the difference and, and make sure you're not what they do, what they call cro you know, doing cross clave, where you're playing 3-2 when, when it's in 2-3. Very important, okay? All right, so the other clave that we have to talk about is Roomba clave, okay? And this also has a 2-3 and 3-2 version of it, okay? Now, the Roomba clave is really real simple. It just takes the third note of uh, the last note of the three side of the clave and shifts it over one sixteenth note, okay? So it's going to go like this. So 2-3 Roomba clave. One, two, ready, go. One, two. Okay, so hopefully you, you hear that. that. That third note on the three side is just being shifted over one sixteenth. That's the only different, difference. But it does completely change the vibe and groove and feel of, of the tune that you're playing. Okay, and then of course you can also play it in 3 2 as well, which would be like this. Two, ready, go. Okay? All right, so those are our claves, okay? We're going to be playing those various claves with our left hand, okay? So um, let's make sure we got that down, all right? All right, the second piece is to play in the right hand what, we, what we're going to call the uh, cascara, okay? The cascara uh, essentially means shell, okay? Um, it's, it's actually the pattern that the timbali player would play on the shell of his timbales. Okay, so we're going to take it, and you can either play it on the rim of a drum, on a cowbell, on the shell of your floor tom, uh, on the ride cymbal, the bell of the ride cymbal, okay? So, um, so this one also has a 2-3 and a 3-2 side to it, okay? And similar to the clave, if you play it as normal, you're playing it in 2-3. If you start the pattern in the middle of it, you'll be playing it in 3-2, and I'm going to show you both of those, okay? So let me do 2-3. Um, cascara with the right hand. Okay, so now I'm going to play 3-2 Cascara. Again, I'm just starting it in the middle of the phrase. Okay, let's check it out. Okay, so there we go. So from here, okay, the goal is to be able to play the various left hand clave parts with the right hand cascara. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to showcase all four of the claves the 2 3 and 3 2 sewn clave, and then the 2 3 and 3 2 rumba clave. Okay, against its perspective um, cascara pattern. Okay, uh, so you know. Coordination-wise, this can get a little tricky, so so take your time with it, okay? But I'm going to do all four, all right? And I'll do it a couple times each, all right? So I'll start with the sewn clave, two, three, then do three, two, and then I'll do the rumba.
Okay, so hopefully that was uh, that was pretty straightforward. Okay, I did two three and then three two sonclave, clave and then I did two three and then three two rumba clave. Okay, so that's what I would start with. Don't even worry about the feet. Just get those hand parts, and you want to be able to do all four. Okay, you want to be able to do all four of these. Okay. All right, so the final ingredient is to add the feet. Okay, now the foot asinado is, is, is what's called the Cuban tumbao pattern. Okay, it's, what the, uh, it's the rhythm that the bass player would essentially be playing. All right, there's a couple of variations on this, but I'm just going to give you just the standard kind of default um, pattern that, that's, that's really good and common to use. Okay, so let me play it for you first and uh, by itself so you can hear that. All right, let's check it out. Okay, all right, so now it's time to put all these wonderful pieces together, okay? All right, so now what we now have to do is be able to play the left-hand clave part with the right-hand cascara over top of the tumbao pattern, okay? So depending on where your skill level with this is, this might be a nightmare. <laughs> or it might be, you know, not a big deal, okay? So if it's difficult, okay, uh, again, um, you know, start really master the hand part first, okay, uh, before you tackle trying to add the, uh, the the feet to it, okay. You know, so break it into pieces, all right, and um, and just keep at it. You know, you will eventually get it. I promise, all right. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I'm not going to demonstrate all four of the the claves against the foot pattern, okay. But you definitely want to practice all four, all right. I'm just going to do the two three uh, sewn clave. Uh, against it, just so you can hear it. Okay, so let's uh, let's try it. All right, I'll start out with just the feet. Okay, so you can you can hear that, and then I'll add the two three cascara and two three son clave um, underneath it. Okay, let's ch let's check it out. All right, there you go, guys. Okay, so I started off just playing the 2-3 uh, sewn clave on the left hand, and then after a while, what I was doing with the toms was I was still playing uh, the clave. I was just mixing the pattern between cross sticks uh, and, and tom hits, okay, just to kind of, you know, add, add a little bit of variety and, and, and spice, spice it up a little bit, okay? Um, so there you go. So there's a good basic Afro-Cuban, um, you know, groove and... Uh, an idea to uh, to get started with, okay, and, um, and again practice it, okay, both uh, two three and three two, okay. Um, that's v it's very very important that you can do it um, both ways as well as know all four of those um, uh, various clave uh, parts, okay. So um, I hope this helped. If you have any questions, let me know. I know this is pretty complicated and uh, drop me a line and I'll do my best to answer your questions if, uh, if you need some help. Okay, and uh, stay tuned. Got more coming up. All right, see you guys.